up so early the sun isn't even up yet. Or is it that we got up so late we completely missed it? and find ourselves some food and because uh, well the TA had uh, no food all the restaurants were closed um, there was nothing in the uh, salad and cool food like fruit section and there's nothing in their uh, warm food section either so we're gonna find ourselves somewhere to get something to eat probably hit up like a loves or something since they usually have a good selection of things and uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, we do have some food in the truck, but uh, I didn't feel like making bagels this morning or eating uh, a couple day old chicken nuggets. So there you go. Isn't that right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Grab it, Lewis is going to close you in it. That took a little longer than I would have liked. Uh, went inside to get myself a sub sandwich, six inch 
turkey on white, if you're wondering. And uh, they were literally out of stock of everything, so I had to wait while they prepped everything. So probably here a good extra 10 minutes than I originally intended. <sighs> Let's go carry on. Sella, Washington. Is that how you say it? Sella? I should know this. I'm from Washington. I should know how to pronounce Washington town names. Like Squim, for example. Shout out to my Squim people. I am originally from there and also the town of Duval, if you were wondering. Fancy and I are on a mission tonight and we are booking it. We are booking it so hardcore. Uh, this is our first stop since uh, Loves, and uh, I almost wasn't going to make it, but I almost wasn't going to make it, if you know what I mean. So we made the quick stop. I am, however, skipping my 30-minute break. It's a little bit risky, a little risky, but as it sits right now, I can get to Siva and still have probably about eight minutes on my clock before I have to do a 30 minute break. And how incredibly awesome would that be for a sleep provide, sleep provide, provide, <laughs> a sleep deprived, sorry, I'm distracted by this. Can you guys, here. Yeah, not only am I sleep deprived, I was distracted by that, Vanu the, the, the vulgarity of it all. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Anyhow, I think we can make it to Siva without doing a 30 minute break. And while we're doing our drop and hook on yard move, that will count as my 30 minute break. And since we went to Boise last shift, I think I'm gonna skip the ribeye this week and I'm gonna book it down five because I'm on a mission to get back home because we're leaving like Monday, which is uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Whew, I'm crazy. We're leaving for our vacation. So I want to get home so I can get at least a few hours of sleep before I got to go hop in that pickup truck and drive many hours to Oregon. So I think we could pull it off, guys. I think we'll pull it off. So uh, I'll see you at SEVA. And if I don't make it, I'll see you somewhere else. But I'm, I'm going to make it. I promise you, I'm going to make it. No tricks either. I'm going to legit make it.
<laughs> we did it! It's the small victories in life, such as getting yourself to your destination without having to do that super annoying 30 minute break. Oh man, we hustled and we did not mess around. And we made it here. We made it. Alright guys, I'm going to get us checked in. See me right down there? Yeah, that's because I'm a quitter today. I've been up all night. I am not going to fight trying to get around all these other trucks and assorted trailers to get in a dock with Fancy today. Uh, bad news. I am seeing not a single empty on the docks. I don't know if they have any in the back. I'm going to ask them. Uh, there was one that has a single box in it. Go figure. Anyway, we're going to go take this paperwork into them. Tell them they can retrieve their trailer out of the yard. Ask them if they know of any empties. Hopefully they got one because I am done with today. I would like to be done. So, checked in, uh, they don't have any empties available right now, and he can't tell me when they would. All he could say is, well, we have to do all of our live loads first. So, uh, I called in to dispatch and my fleet manager, and she's going to see if she can get me an approval to bobtail empty. Well, bobtail, you would be empty because you have no trailer. I have been up entirely way too long. So we're gonna hang out here for about 10 minutes and uh, see what comes of it. Oh, the door has opened. I could probably get the trailer into that door now, except for I already unhooked everything. I might kill some time and put it in this dock. We'll see. Okay. Hey, it's Alice. Okay, so they approved your bottle. Okay. Just make sure to get an empty uh, when you get to SMS to Sa Sacramento when you start your when you're ready to start again. Okay. Well, I take a loaded out of Sacramento, so I don't know how I'd oh, grab an empty. Start. Sorry about that. A loaded. What yeah, yeah, right. I uh, that. Okay, so on my matrix here, is it gonna um, be? It's not gonna change. I just on the note, I just wrote bobtail per planning approved. Okay. Because if, if I erase that empty move, you won't get paid for the mileage. Gotcha. All right. I'll uh, go ahead and check myself out of here then. Thank you. Okay. Sounds right. good. Have a good one. You too. Bye. Bye. We're bobtailing. Never done that before. Fine by me. We have uh, three hours, five minutes on our clock. I'm probably gonna go to Ribeye to eat. Are you hungry? Yes. We're gonna go eat. And after that, we're gonna go down a little bit further south and we're gonna go to bed. So, meet you at the Ribeye. Can't say I'm a breakfast fan here. No, I've done breakfast twice. Not my favorite. Prime rib all day, I'll do that. All right, so we still have uh, two hours on our clock and uh, three hours and some minutes on our 14 hour. So we're gonna skedaddle out of Washington State. Uh, I'm gonna try to make it to Aurora, Oregon. Not Aurora, Colorado. I would never be able to do that. So I will see you guys over there. See guys, it totally worked out. 
totally worked out. We made it here to the Aurora TA with three minutes left on our clock. Now you might be thinking, but Alice, what happens if you run out of time? You don't run out of time. It's like the movies, guys. You never run out of time. It always works out. On that note, I'm going to go work out back there and try to go to bed. So uh, we can leave here at uh, 10 p.m. 10 p.m. And in theory, they'll get us to Sacramento by like 9 a.m. Uh, unless I fizzle out. Yeah. And then I'll get home just in time to grab a shower, maybe take a nap for an hour or two, and then get in that F F350 so we can come back up here to Oregon to go to the dunes for the week. Perfect. Perfect timing. Just like my logbook. Perfect. All right, guys. I'll catch you a little later. and Adam we have 10 hours wait we've completed 10 hours we have eight hours of drive time on our official time clock and uh, I'm ready to get home I'm ready to get home and do you guys see that yeah get all mr. pink eyes back that seems to be a theme with me in Oregon yeah I do recall I was coming back through Oregon the last time that this happened, which was the last time I came through Oregon. Coincidence? Probably.
So, what do you think? Uh, it was pretty fun. It's kind of tiring. <laughs> kind of wore me out a little bit, but you know, I had fun with my mom. It reminded me of when I was a child and used to go do this, so it brought back a lot of memories. And yeah, it was really fun. And I, I will go do it again with her. So yeah. I, I remember when you were a kid, little kid, you used to sleep all the time too. <laughs> You can't do like that if you can't do that though if you become a trucker. That's you you got to actually stay awake and drive. Yeah. Well, Is it, are you still I'm considering only, it? Yeah. I'm yeah. Only 16 right now. It's it's an option. I definitely. I've always wanted to do it. It's always been there. So you know, I'm just experimenting, seeing what my options are. But yeah, it was fun. It was worth it. Yeah, when he was like a little tiny kid, like that that tall, he used to go around and follow Martin. And he'd like if Martin would kick a tire or hit a tire, he'd kick the tire and do what Martin did. It was really cute. And then he had like the toy trucks. And I have a picture of him playing with the toy truck on the flatbed. So maybe. I don't know. We'll see. All right. We'll see. <laughs> we are here at Earl Scheib and we are picking up truck parts. So I'm gonna say bye to my son because he's not going with us because he's too tired. And yeah. <laughs> He was doing something, talking to him, and then I went to the back of the truck to look at the reaper, and he just jumped out and fell on his back. Yeah, he landed like a sack of potatoes. But he thinks he hit his head, and that's why he's the way he is. Oh, and I'm like, right no, you you fell on your butt, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I was surprised he didn't get hurt. Yeah, I don't even think he cried, did he? No, I think he cried. I don't even I think cried I was more. conscious at that time. I was just, like, there. He you landed like, on your butt. I you were conscious. Like, no, I literally <laughs> fell out, like, you were, like, Body off, feet out, and land right on your back. <laughs> Alright, whale tail. All nice and fresh. Looks good. And the visor. So I went with this silver trim on the bottom. Looks good. Oh, I can't wait to see it on the truck. I like it. Oh, it's so soft. Nice, nice, nice. This looks good. I like it with the silver. You did a good job. Yeah. I like it's it. All red is a big piece. I know. It looks better, yeah. Yeah, like no, it looks nice. I like it. And window chops. Seven hundred twenty-five dollars uh, for all those pieces. So, I have uh, been using Jorge here for years. He originally painted the stripes and the hood and the front bumper on my Firebird. It's held up just beautifully. We've had that car for like eight years now or something. Um, it does really good work. You know, it's Earl Shy. People might be like, "Oh man," but no, he he does good work here. So, if you are anywhere near Rancho Cordova, uh, California. You need some paint work done, go see Jorge. Tell him what you want. Be specific. It's not like you want the 199 car paint special, but if you want, you know, you want something that looks good, tell him what you want and he'll do it for you. So I cannot wait to get this visor on that truck though. It's gonna look so good. So good. I'm hungry, let's go eat. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I went on a flex, this flex zone.